Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a question from the Oxford MAT entrance exam. So this is question 1A from the 2018 paper. And the question is essentially to find the area of this purple shaded region. So it's going to be an integration question. So there's a few different ways to look at it. We could split along the uh, vertical x equals 2 line and we could just integrate this region here under the square root of x curve. And then we could also integrate this region here, the difference of these two curves. So equivalently, we can just think about this. If we look at this intersection point and drop down a line here, let's call this point alpha, which we'll find in a bit. So now we can see, we can just calculate the integral of square root of x over this whole region, zero to alpha, and then just subtract the area of this triangle, the one with the black dots. So this is gonna give us the answer. Let me write that mathematically. So the area as we were saying, we can write this as the integral between zero and alpha, and we'll find that in a second. And it's just the area under the square root of x, dx. And then we wanna subtract off the area of the triangle, and that's convenient, that's just base times height divided by two, so alpha minus two, which is the base, times the height, which we'll just call beta, that's this point here, we'll find that in a bit, divided by two. So this is the answer. So what's left to do is just work out these coordinates, alpha and beta. And we can do that by just setting these two equations equal to each other. So we set square root of x equals to x minus two. And we wanna find the values of x that this equation is true. So this is actually a pseudo quadratic. So I call it pseudo because it's a quadratic in disguise. If we square both sides, we'll get sorry, not x squared, we just get x on this side, and we get x minus two on this side. So now we can just expand brackets out. This is quite a simple quadratic to solve. x squared minus four x plus four. Let's bring everything onto one side. So x squared minus five x plus four is equal to zero. And I mean, use the tools you know, we can Factorize, we can complete the square, we can use the formula. Um, this does factorize, so if you spot that, it's gonna be a bit quicker. This factorizes as x minus one times x minus four equals to zero. So this tells us that this equation up here is true when x equals to one and x equals to four. However, we need to be a bit careful because these values solve this equation, but they don't necessarily solve this equation. What we've done is we've squared both sides, so we need to be careful, uh, we might have introduced another solution. So we need to take these values and input them in here and see if this, they hold. So if we take x equals to one, we put this in here, we have square root of one, which is one, this equals one minus two, which is minus one. And that obviously isn't true, so something's gone wrong. So this is not a solution, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, on the other hand, x equals to four, Square root of four is two, four minus two is also two. So this is true, which means x equals to four is our solution. So now why does this not solve this equation? So essentially by squaring both sides, we're introducing um, the solution that would look like this if we had the negative parabola. So if we had minus the square root of x, that would correspond to this point equal, equaling one. So this is where we've introduced this point and this is something you need to be careful of. If you square both sides, you might introduce a solution. So you just check that by inputting the, the values into the quadratic. So now we know that this point, x equals four, this is the, the real intersection point, so alpha equals to four. Let me change color. Okay, so we found alpha equals to four, and then we need to find beta as well, which is just the, the height. So if we put alpha equals four into either of these equations, it's gonna be the same and square root of four is equal to four minus two, which is just two, so beta equals two. And now we have everything we need to solve this equation. So it should be a straightforward integration problem. We have integral of the square root of x between zero and four. So this is fairly standard. You in, uh, increase the power by one to get three over two, and you divide by the power, which is the same as multiplying by one over the power, so two over three. And then we just remember to put the limits in, which is zero and four. So alpha equals four, which we just found. 
And then finally, this is the area of the triangle, remember? So we just put these values in, it's uh, alpha minus two is two, so two times two divided by two is just two. Um, and then finally, just putting these values in, it should be fairly straightforward. Two over three times the square root of four cubed. That's what three over two means. So square root of four, very convenient, that's just two. Two cubed is two times two times two, which is just eight. Oh, I've forgotten minus two. So we have eight times two over three, which is 16 over three minus two. Two is equal to uh, six over three. So we see that this the final answer is gonna be 10 over three. So this is what the area under uh, these curves equals. So this is the purple region here.